In this video, I would like to show how we can achieve the market equilibrium. Basically, how can we get to the equilibrium quantity and price? So what does that mean? That means on a graph, we are looking for the intersection point between the demand and the supply curves, meaning that the buyers and the sellers agree on a given price and agree on how much quantity they can transact. So let's solve it algebraically and put those values over here on our graph. I gave here two hypothetical demand and supply functions, which I already drew before starting the video. So now I want to show you how we can achieve this market equilibrium. What does equilibrium mean? That means an agreement between the demand and the supply, between the consumers and the producers. So in other words, we have to make these functions equal to each other. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Quantity demanded, so quantity demanded must be equal to quantity supplied. Let me change colors to make it more visible we are looking for that the buyers and the sellers agree on how much is going to be transacted on the market okay so as a result of this we have 200 minus 10 times p which is the demand function equals to minus 50 plus 15 times p which is the supply function now let's take the numbers on one side so we have a minus 50 over here let's take it to the left side which becomes 200 plus 50 and that's going to be 250 and here let's take the minus 10p on the right side so we will have 15p plus 10p which is equal to 25 times p now what's going to be the price 250 over 25 and that's going to be equal to 10 this is going to be the equilibrium price now the buyers and the sellers agree on the equilibrium price of 10 let's say dollars per unit with that being said what is the quantity that's going to be sold on the market well we could substitute the price into either of the functions either demand or supply it doesn't matter because remember they are equal to each other so for the sake of the example let's just substitute it into the quantity demanded function so we will get 200 minus <coughs> 10 times the equilibrium price of 10 and that's equal to 200 minus 100 which is 100 units equilibrium quantity this is equilibrium quantity on the market and graphically that means that this white dot over here gives us a price of 10 in equilibrium and a corresponding quantity of 100 units in equilibrium. Hope this all makes sense. In the next video, I will show what it means to have consumer surplus and producer surplus. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.